Okay, here we are. My grandfather's old church. Look, there's still some charred timber left that no one felt like carrying away. But the signs of the suicide is still there. Read the sign to me, Carl. I wonder where the altar was. This must have been the nave here. It's all gone. I mean the sign. Carl, read the sign. I want to look at the sky. This cliff is called Princess Cliff. According to oral history from this cliff, an Indian princess jumped to her death when her father refused to allow her to marry the brave she loved. The sign says more than that. This location was a site of meetings of French trappers who barred for goods up and down the river until the Great Chippewa Sioux War. They rarely ventured out of the river valley, and the rolling plains above was settled by the European immigrants in the early part of the 1800s. And by the 1850s, their farm stretched from here east to the Great Lakes. What else? Local legend claims the prince's spirit still haunts the valley and can be heard crying on foggy nights. Okay, hope that story trued you up. I like sad stories. It's romantic. A Sansa girl probably never existed. Of course she existed. And if she did exist, she killed herself. But no Sansa church full of people that really did exist. I think she existed. It'll be dark soon. I think she must have landed over there.
think this is the hotel that Mr. met. Uh, there are no people here. City girls. It's spooked when there's no people around. This is how it is out in the city, babe. It looks so sad and lonely. It can't be open. Are you sure it's open? Please, let's not stay here. Can we get something to eat in the restaurant? At least there's some life in there. I really don't want to stay here. Okay, maybe food will give you courage to stay in a new cozy little hotel. There's no one here but a cat. You're gothic, babe. Gothic. I am not gothic. 